Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are talking about the Wicked Spades poker chips. Now, some disclosures, I paid for these with my own money because I'm still looking for a couple of sets of for poker, uh, poker chips. So these are to be considered. Now, this channel is sponsored by PokerChipForum.com. Thank you, PokerChipForum.com. You want to support this channel? Come visit me on PokerChipForum.com. Have a discussion or just send me a private message. Always welcome on PokerChipForum.com. Now, before we dive into this discussion, let's use these as a card protector. And let's play a quick hand. Should we use my homemade chips as a pot? <laughs> Speaking of fun things to discuss on PokerChipForum.com. So here's our pot. This is my card protector. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit more during this hand than usual for those people who are new. These are some Chem Playing Cards, U.S. Playing Card Company. These are my all-time favorite feeling cards. The way that these feel are amazing. Of course, they're not free, so it's not like I'm going to buy hundreds of these and use these as just like, you know, my <laughs> when I'm playing with my five-year-old boy playing gin and stuff. So when you shuffle, just so you guys know, if you have a cut card, which generally I think you should, you always want to make sure the mat side is up for obvious reasons, as you can reflect cards and people will see, oh, look, there's a queen of diamonds on the bottom. So I know, you know, you can, yeah, always mat side up. So you're not going to reflect that card. Now, if the light just right, it, it does work. You can see cards sometimes. So just be sure to cut your deck onto that and pick them all up together. So you're not going to flash that bottom card to give anything away. And then you pitch your hands, right? Obviously here, it's just me. So I'm just going to deal myself to card protector, wicked spades. And let's deal a hand. So generally, what we do for Texas Hold'em, we burn a card right here, and then we deal the flop. Obviously, there's a betting cycle. Whatever action comes our way, and then we right there, oh my goodness, that's looking very flushy with a king on top there. Burn another one. Here's the turn. Man, just play the board here. And finally... Do you think I got a good hand? I have a long history of just having really crap hands. Let's see if we can break the spell today with a pair of jacks. Oh, just take my money. Just take it. This is why I do YouTube and I don't I'm not a professional poker player. This is why this this is the pot right here. Homemade poker chips. <laughs> nothing of nothing of value. If you're thinking about making your homemade po homemade poker chips, don't. Just buy some. That's why I review stock poker chips. Just buy, buy manufactured poker chips. They're just better. At the making of this video, things could change. So what are your thoughts about the Wicked Spades? Do you remember when you were like in junior high or elementary school and your expressions were like everything? You don't say wicked, man. It's righteous, righteous. And you're like, wicked, whatever, man. It's like, who cares? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. You're in, you're in elementary school. Nobody cares what you say, except for your peers. So I don't know how wicked these look. Uh, real quick, talking about looks. Things I like. I like the edge spots are modern. Okay, so they're not on the face. They're just on the edges. So we're not paying for edge spot alignment needlessly. I like it that they're consistent with their design. So they have this stone, kind of a middle age kind of a look with the stone about them. And then they have this flame embellishment here which is where the wicked comes from i'm sure wicked wicked you know it's like something that you'd find on like a motorcycle tank or something however they're poker chips so um the design i get i like it it's i, I like it more than i hate it it's kind of interesting for me my favorite part is this one quarter it actually says one quarter <laughs> instead of we call them quarters i mean what we call 25 quarters too but these are, you know, a quarter. That's great. I love that. To me, that's interesting. And, you know, it looks a little similar to the 5,000, but these are not going to be in play together. I like the bold, vivid colors. That's obviously black. That's obviously orange. This is obviously purple. Blue. This is obviously a one. Looking at them from the edge, same thing. Okay. So from a design standpoint, these are wonderful. These are very playable. Uh, you could argue that these could be a little more high vis. They could have made them high vis yellow with an with a red outline and a shadow, right? Make them ketchup and mustard yellow so they really pop. But I don't think that's what these are about. I think that they did a good job sticking with this like because they're a hard ceramic. 
so they feel like stone and so they look like stone. It works. It works for me. Now, materials, these are ceramic, so they don't break. Okay. Now I've broken chips before. I've broken China clays before on camera. They just, they can just snap. I've also broke casino chips because with wear and tear being out on the casino floor, they get stepped on, they get thrown. And sometimes there are hairline fractures in here. And so you just put a little bit of pressure on a used casino chip and they'll just break. This is a used horseshoe Cleveland, by the way. So very durable, uh, going, continuing with materials here. They have a good weight. They have a good feel. For me, they're easy to shuffle. Uh, I know some people complain about how ceramics shuffle. They feel like they're too slippery, but that's not my experience here. No spinners in this sample set and flatness is very good. No crazy flatness issues. Now, uh, see, people might be new here. So let me show you what I'm talking about here when I'm discussing flatness. Some chips, these are dice chips uh, purchased at Walmart. Uh, some chips you can see rock back and forth like this. Oh, snap. There you go right there. And so there are flatness issues. Can you see that? See how these just rock back and forth like that? Uh, well, why does that matter? Well, some people don't like spinners, you know. Uh, it's also... If you're going to stack these pretty tall, then they'll topple over. It just gets annoying. So just to consider, something to consider. These are very flat. Uh, the dimples. Oh, let's talk about dimples. So a ceramic is made with a hard plastic blank, which is injection molded. So if you look closely here, see, they're hard to find. <laughs> they're hard to find these dimples here. Here's one. Nope. False alarm. Man, these are hard to find. Um, I've seen them before. Here's one right here. This purple. So right there, that's where um, it's injection molded. I'm not sure if that's going to show up on camera, but that's where it's injection molded. And you can barely feel it, and you can barely see it. These dimples are very mild. So good design, very mild dimples. And these are made on these blanks. They use a dye sublimation process. Okay, So they, these blanks come out white, and then they put on a sheet of pigment of the printing, and they heat it up, and then it transfers from that to the blank using a sublimation process. I, I call it printing, all right? But it's more like an iron-on than actual, like, printing. So anyway, now you know. Very durable print, or very durable, right? So, I mean, these don't come off. They don't peel off. It's not a wrap. They're actually embedded, dyed into the chip. Uh, these are proven to be very durable. I've had my Tiki Kings. Where are some Tiki Kings here? Um, for a couple of years now, and... They still look great. If you get a lot of rubbing, it is hard plastic and it will wear out. But you can see, I mean, depending on who you're playing with and how much rubbing goes on, they can last a very long time. So things to consider. So, I mean, materials are great. The design is good. Maybe not my favorite design, but it, they look really good. They're very usable chips, something I would definitely consider. And let's talk about some other options you might want to look at. Uh, before we do a sound test here, I love doing sound tests. Try to lay these out so you can see the denominations. That's something else that I always like to be able to see everything going on here. See how closely the numbers, like the colors are and everything. It's always good to understand all of that. So you can see here, very, you know, clean, very, pretty normal color palette there. One thing I noticed when I'm looking at them like this is the lighter colors, the flame embellishments seem to pop a little bit more than the darker colors, which me makes them look a little bit more busy. So the darker colors to me look really good, but sometimes that, you know, that does look a little busy to me. Same with the 5000. Anyway, little things. So if you're looking to stick in the ceramic realm, I would check out the Tiki Kings, also sold by BR Pro Poker. A Nevada Jack is a good bet. Uh, if you're looking for something inexpensive, scrolls, you get a lot for your money with some scrolls. And, you know, there's always the options like a ceramic hybrid, the Ascona. You might want to check these out as well. Uh, if you're looking to try something besides ceramics, so if you get a sample set of these and some Tiki Kings, you want to compare them to something more casino, more of a casino material, I'll try the, the Monaco, the Monaco Lewinsky. <laughs> I'm just kidding. These are not associated with my. These are not associated with the Lewinsky name. They're just Monaco, as in the city Monaco in Europe, the casinos. So um, these have much more of a casino feel to them. Well, you'll hear in the sound test. Lovely. Uh, 
Again, more premium chips like the classic poker chips. This is the Key West set. China clays also have a good clay feel to them. And some really expensive chips, the Outlaw right here. These are very inexpensive. Metal slug, ABS chips. These are very much an economy chip. Um, let's do a sound test here so we can uh, hear the difference between ceramics and some of these other ones. These popped out with my uh, dice chips when we're doing flatness testing. Do you want to do a interlocking chip sound test? Those are so, no, we're not going to do that. All right. Ceramics versus China clays. These are the Milanos. Monaco. Love the feel of these. Love them. The Ascona. Outlaw. Metal Slug ABS chips. Key West Classic Poker Chips. Lovely. All right. Well, let me know your thoughts about these wicked spades. Wicked. Righteous. Would you call them righteous? Righteous. I, I get it. I, I like the design. I like how they stuck with the design. They give us something different, something pretty unique. So be sure to visit our sponsor, PokerChipForum.com. You can support this channel with the Amazon, the links to the Amazon shop in the description below. Always looking for more patrons on Patreon to support this channel. They really make this channel possible. And if you want email notifications, you can subscribe and click that bell icon, and then it will email you when I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby.